New at four, the Henderson County community grieving after losing one of their own. Deputy Ryan Hendricks was shot yesterday while answering a vehicle break and call in the Mountain Home community. Other deputies returned fire and killed the suspect, but Deputy Hendricks did not survive his injury. Neighbors in Henderson County coming together to support the deputy's family today. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer joins us live at the sheriff's office. And how are they helping at fallen deputies' loved ones, Carrie? Well, you know, Tori, many in this community are absolutely devastated. They say they've lost a friend, a brother, and a remarkable deputy. Now, while the friends and family of Deputy Ryan Hendricks are making final arrangements, the community wants them to know they've got their backs. Order in. It's busier than usual at the Alley Cat Deli on Asheville Highway in Hendersonville. We have talked with all the employees and decided to give 10% of our profits for Friday and Saturday to the Hendricks family. The owner says they want to support those who supported them for over 40 years. Law enforcement, EMS, everyone has been, you know, helped us throughout the years. So this is our way of giving back to, you know, the Hendricks family and to all the men and women in blue. A collection jar for the family of fallen deputy Ryan Hendricks, who was tragically killed in the line of duty yesterday, sits out for anyone who wants to help the deputy's loved ones. And I just want to show um, the deputies and the police officers that we support them and that we're behind them and we appreciate that every day they put their lives on the line for us. I was heartbroken and so sad and I cried because I have a nephew who's a deputy and he was a friend to Ryan and it, it just broke our hearts, the whole family. Guy says she's known Deputy Hendricks since his family lived beside her when he was a child. Very loving and kind and just good kids, well disciplined and I just, I am so sorry that this has happened. My heart is broken for his whole family. They're just very precious people and I love them. She says Deputy Ryan Hendricks was one of eight children and was kind to everyone around him as a child and as an adult. Those who stop by the Alley Cat Deli today say it's the least they can do to show their support. It, it is a tremendous um, blessing to me to know that I can help them in just this small way. You know, I can never make up for what they've lost, but if I can just show them that I care about them and that I'm concerned for them in this small way, I'm happy to do it. Now, as you can see right behind me here, people are coming out throughout the day, leaving balloons of flowers as a makeshift memorial for Deputy Hendricks right here in front of the Sheriff's Office. Major Frank Stout from the Henderson County Sheriff's Office told us earlier today that they will be making a memorial with the deputy's car. They're making arrangements for that as we speak, so as soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to update you. Tori? You can tell so many people loved Deputy Hendricks. Carrie, thank you for that story this afternoon.